The disturbing trend of skin bleaching in Jamaica is on the increase across the whole of the island. Although its practice is mainly found in the poorer inner city garrison communities, where unemployment and the lack of basic literacy is rife, and where the ethnic majority of these communities are of African descent. The creams are illegal to buy over the counter, but their availability is now more accessible than ever. The Jamaican government is having a hard time stemming the flow of these products from entering the country. And now the practice of bleaching, which was once exclusive to women, has now spread to men and children. I wanted to find out more about the impact of this growing trend. My search led me to the garrison community of Torrington, where I talked to a family of bleachers and learnt more about why they do it. When did you first start to use bleaching creams? Around 10 years now. 10 years? And you've used it consistently for 10 years? Yeah. Why do you think it got popular when people first started to do it? People start bleach, them just like the style. It's just the style. Because I came to Dermot College every time I go to my quarry. Miss Maris, this way you need to stop doing it. It's going to damage on your body. It's going to eat out on your skin after a time. About 10 years ago, skin bleaching was unknown. We just didn't have the problem. Over the past 10 years, we've seen the problem from about the 90s until now. What happened is that something changed in the practice of dermatology in Jamaica and in a lot of countries where ladies realized that they could use creams that were used for other things. And these creams, which were steroids basically, had the effect of causing hypopigmentation, that is lightening on the skin. And this was a side effect from these steroid creams and they realized this, so they started to use these creams in order to get a lighter color. If you did know someone in your community that had skin cancer, would that make you stop? Yeah, it's me really see somebody where it do. I really stop because I don't want it to do me that. I know you're, you let your daughter bleach. Do you not have a problem with her doing it? No, I don't have a problem with her. Even for their own health reasons? Nothing? N no, Michelle, I don't have no problem with her. I probably bleach long time, I can't have a count too much years. I can bleach and stop and bleach and stop. So you give me a bus for my, for my hand. Some patients apply it around the eyes which can lead to glaucoma. But if they apply it to their whole body, they can absorb enough steroid cream that can lead to diabetes or high blood pressure or something we call cushion syndrome. But the face becomes wrong and they develop a part of fat in the back of your head and uh, the back of your neck and this can be quite disfiguring. Do you think the cream should be illegal? Because they're illegal to buy here unless they're on prescription. It sell in the old sale in my town. In them kitchen, I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to lock you. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to buy the People don't know what bleach I'm not going to sell. Because if I'm still with gloves up, they know Sarah Robbins will come by. Nothing to sell all that town like Robbins and ear and clothes. Neither food to sell all like bleaching. I lay it up every day and talk to you. If you have 150, we are going to go buy one of them. Yeah. Them say, do to bring pain in on a style of one so I can bear it. We believe that by removing the melanin artificially, the skin, the cells in the skin become more susceptible to the damaging effects of ultraviolet light on them. And this can lead in years to come in an epidemic, to an epidemic of skin cancers. Hey, my whole body, my rubber body, my whole entire body. Every day? Every day. You know it can cause skin cancer? That is true, the doctor tell me that. Because it, 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 it gave me something in my face right here, so. And you still didn't stop? Yeah, but them time I was using the jail. You have one prefer when you bleach, or you have some that prefer. You have some that like when you bleach, not time at all. It's too, a two choice. I write another man, them take it over from the woman, them completely. Man, them white around me. Man, them bleach to attract, attract the girl, them. That them can get more girl and them things. So, how long have you been bleaching for? From about 13. And you do it every day? Yeah, two times a day. And you are? Everywhere or just your face? Just my face. If you ever go to the streets of Kingston, you'll find a lot of girls they call vampire. Their skin cannot take the heat or the sun. And so they only go out in the early morning or at night because the skin itself is so sensitive to sunlight. And we have, I mean, these people actually face a very serious problem. Can you go out into the sun? Yeah, I'm going out the sun. I'm walking up and down. The sun have nothing to do. As I'm saying, walking out the sun, I sweat better for your skin, peel off more better. 
If you're cool and I do nothing, I jerk you. Go to the beach you now, where I come out, where I have socks, or tights, and one pants, and sometimes I have a four shot. Even from this, four of them things, yeah, hold gloves up. Then I have to take all the plastic and wrap up, or skin come way up, and our belly. So you know, I walk now, I sweat, and by five minutes now, I just take it off. Now I have a bathroom with warm water. Lean back in the night, so the dead scare of them arise off. So you know, later the dance, I read that in the video. Well, you can't talk to me again, white. If you could have been born brown, would you have been, or would you have been born the way you are? If you had a choice? As of recent, I have a colour, I'm still a tone. I'm not people in here have a colour, still a tone. So it make no sense. So it's like a fashion thing. Right. But every time they're born, you know, you don't say, stop rubbing and by next week again, I do that. People believe that if you have a fear of skin, it's easier for you to get a job, it's easier for you to get a um, business break, it's easier for you to get married, etc. I've had patients, for instance, telling me up front, you're telling me not to bleach, but everybody I know bleaches, so something must be wrong with you. It's very simple. If you sit down with smokers, they'll tell you nothing, nothing is wrong with smokers. As I left Jamaica, I was saddened by what the Morris family had shown me and alarmed at how acceptable this dangerous practice has become. But given the many arrests for the sale of bleaching lotions in Britain, it seems they might be a tiny part of a worrying global trend.